Actors have their reasons for turning down roles, but sometimes those reasons bite them in the butt. Famous actors have lost out on millions, as well as the opportunity to be cast in iconic roles. Sometimes they move on to bigger and better things, and sometimes they regret the decision for the rest of their lives. Here are 10 roles famous actors wish they said yes to. John Hawks, The Governor. You may know John Hawks from HBO's Deadwood, but you could have also known him from AMC's The Walking Dead. Before David Morrissey got the part, Hawks was offered the role of the show's most iconic baddie to date, The Governor. He was sent the graphic novel along with seasons one and two, but ultimately turned it down. He claimed the role just wasn't right for him. Hawks was great as Saul in Deadwood and had equally great performances in other movies and short films. He could have made a great governor. We're not too bummed though. Morrissey's portrayal of the comic book villain was phenomenal and easily our favorite bad guy to date. Although we are excited to see what Negan and Lucille have to bring to the table. Tom Selleck, Indiana Jones. The Indiana Jones we know and love and hold so dear was very, very close to having a big, bushy mustache. Tom Selleck was a frontrunner for the role, especially because George Lucas had already used Harrison Ford as Han Solo, and he didn't want to keep using the same actor for all of his movies. However, Selleck already had a contract in the works with the classic TV show Magnum P.I. Although he may have been able to do both, he waited too long to make a decision, and Harrison Ford snatched up the role. Selleck did an amazing job on the TV show, and Thomas Magnum is probably one of the most famous fictional private investigators on television. But Indiana Jones is by far one of the coolest and most iconic adventurers in cinema history and spawned an incredible trilogy. Yes, trilogy. Crystal Skull is a myth. It never happened. Matthew Broderick, Walter White. Matthew Broderick certainly has an iconic movie role under his belt with Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but he could have added an iconic television role to his name too. He and John Cusack were both up for the part, but when neither of them took it, Brian Cranston was able to secure the role of the meth-cooking chemistry teacher. Turns out he was actually one of the show's first choices after seeing his work on an X-Files episode. It was just challenging for the studio execs to see past the goofy persona of the dad from Malcolm in the Middle. We are overjoyed they gave him a shot, although it would have been interesting to see how Broderick would have turned out too. Ferris Bueller cooked meth in his tidy whities Now that would be a sight to behold. John Travolta, Forrest Gump. John Travolta hit it big in the 70s, peaking with his work in Saturday Night Fever and Grease. He quickly lost steam at the turn of the decade though and nearly became irrelevant. But as luck would have it, the film god smiled upon him and offered him a role he couldn't refuse, but he refused it anyway. He could have starred as the lead role in the award-winning Forrest Gump. Instead, he opted for the role of Vincent Vega in Pulp Fiction. To be fair, Pulp Fiction has become a cult classic that will live on for generations, but even he was kicking himself for turning down such an amazing opportunity. This may be be the only entry on this list though that we are 100% happy with the actor's dumb decision. Dominic West, Mance Raider. Mance Raider, played by Kieran Hines, is the king beyond the wall, leader of the wildlings in Game of Thrones. This role could have gone to Dominic West, but he was too busy playing the part of Palace Guard in the worst Star Wars movie ever, The Phantom Menace. Of course, this timeline doesn't match up at all, we just wanted to point out another one of his big mistakes. Actually, The Wire star was working on just a couple of small projects at the time and could have taken on the role, but he turned it down to spend more time with his family. Funny enough, his nephew is one among many others who express their disappointment that he's not in one of HBO's most popular shows ever. However, he is a talented actor, and there are a couple seasons left. He may just have time to redeem himself. Al Pacino, Han Solo. Why does Harrison Ford get all the good roles? Because everyone else keeps turning them down. Al Pacino was offered the role of Han Solo, but he couldn't understand the script. He was hot off The Godfather at the time, and according to him, he was in high demand and had offers pouring in. So he wrote this one off as just another random offer. He, along with Burt Reynolds, Jack Nicholson, James Caan, and Robert De Niro all missed an opportunity and turned down the role, leaving the door open for Harrison Ford to portray the sexy smuggler in a galaxy far, far away. Although we are more than satisfied with Ford's performance, we can't help but wonder what could have been. Say hello to my little blaster pistol. Katie Holmes, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Katie Holmes has been the victim of bad judgment a couple times in her career. Most recently, she turned down the lead role of Piper in the popular Netflix series Orange is the New Black. But she made the same mistake nearly 20 years earlier when she turned down the opportunity to play Buffy in the WB series Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Apparently, she wanted to use the time instead to finish high school. Psh, nerd. Lucky for us, Sarah Michelle Gellar took the part in the late 90s TV show and showed us all how to properly kick some vampire ass. Unlucky for Sarah Michelle Gellar, she later turned down the role of Elle Woods in Legally Blonde. Whoops. Sean Connery, Gandalf. How weird would it be to hear that? Gandalf with a Scottish accent. The former James Bond star was offered the role of Middle Earth's greatest wizard, but ultimately turned it down. In doing so, he turned down $6 million per movie, along with a 15% stake in box office revenue. Unfortunately, it was another case of the actor just not understanding the script. He said he read the script, the book, and eventually saw the movie and still didn't understand it. He did say, however, that Ian McKellen was marvelous, and we agree. Ian McKellen rivals some of the best wizards in film, including Harry Potter, Merlin, 
Chamberlain, The Wizard of Oz, and Mickey Mouse when he puts that hat on. Paul Giamatti, Michael Scott. The part was his for the taking. In fact, he was the first choice for the role. But Paul Giamatti declined the invitation, allowing for Steve Carell to play one of the funniest bosses on television, Michael Scott in The Office. Giamatti has a great reputation, but that's why it might have taken away from the charm of a lesser known actor taking on the role. We doubt Paul Giamatti is hurting for cash, but surely he would have appreciated the $300,000 per episode salary. Steve Carell did a near perfect job, so much so that many find him funnier than his original British counterpart, David Brown played and created by Ricky Gervais. Josh Hartnett, Batman. Quite possibly the biggest blunder on this list goes to Josh Hartnett, who turned down the chance to be the caped crusader in Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy. He was so terrified of being typecast for the rest of his career that he said no to what turned out to be some of the best Batman movies of all time and, not to mention, tens of millions of dollars. Then, to add insult to injury, Nolan turned him down for his film The Prestige, who starred, you guessed it, Christian Bale. After seeing Christian Bale be Batman and then move on to other roles, Hartnett was really kicking himself. It seems he's learned his lesson though, as he already has three or four projects in the works for 2017. Inside is 2020 for these actors. Which ones did we miss? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed your watching experience, give us a thumbs up and check out the rest of our channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to CBR for more awesome videos about movies, video games, comics, pop culture, and more.